wasn't surprised. I thought that this week's attendance story was going to be delayed due to Olympics, but I hear next week is. And I'm not sure what's going to happen next week. Some people are saying a recap. I'm not sure. Another thing I heard, I heard today's episode is supposed to be the best episode of Season 3 Part 2. I hear that shit pops off. Really? My expectations are kind of high right now. Let's find out in today's reaction. <laughs> That's crazy again. Mjolnir standing in the place where Diablo would stand, bro. It's crazy. Mjolnir is actually such a significant character now. He has more priority in proximity compared to Diablo. That speaks volumes. Like, like the fact that he's not where Diablo's in position, like the fact that it's not swapped. God damn. <laughs> Hakuro yeah, chill. Bro, everyone that looks so fucking mean to Mjolnir. Only per- And Gopta's happy. So is Rigard. Vesta's kind of happy about it. Hakuro looks like he wants to fucking kill. Hmm. Chief Treasurer. It's time to yap, baby. You've seen Tablekun. You've seen Tablekun. But have you ever seen Vertical Rolling Trolley? <laughs> Fucking Chalkboard Kun. With the full-on presentation. Oh, I cannot wait for this full-on thesis for 30 minutes, baby. All right, let's go. Title of today's episode. The Light Speed Hero. Oh, shit. Masayuki has been glazed to... I, I don't know, to levels that I haven't ever seen. There is so much hype surrounding this guy. The greatest hero of our time right now. All right. We'll see how goaded Masayuki truly is. Is Diablo pissed right now? It's probably in my head. I'm probably reaching. I'm probably have my own narrative of how Mjolnir seems more important than Diablo seems because of the proximity and he's being a little jealous right now being outshined by him. I'm not too sure. Probably has no significance that he's making this face right now. Huh? Speech time, bro. Damage. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna be singing? Can anyone really sing here? I want Diablo to sing, maybe. I don't know. I feel like Diablo is a very cultured person, you know? The demon folk are very, you know. Well versed in mannerisms and cultures and different etiquettes, right? Wait, it can't be Gabino! <laughs> I'm kind of worried. <laughs> I'm kind of worried because Gabino has been fucking practicing with his boys and the whole choreography and shit like that. Now that I think about it, shit. <laughs> This is the main spotlight! Bald! Mm, the I hope that the elf queen shows up, bro. I hope every wife who shows up and enjoys her husband. That's right. Veldra really wanted a tapanyaki. Uh, movie people. Movie people. Right? Uh, not, not Coleus. Not Vision. Is it Vision of Coleus? 
No vision. It is. No, uh, uh, Scarlet Bond was. I, I get those two confused. But this is the desert side, right? Where we went to. Yeah. Oh, it is Volish Vision Holy Spirit. Yeah. And Scarlet Bond is the hero one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So three parts, huh? So day one, there's a lot of, you know, introductions and ceremonies and opera. Day two, martial arts tournament. The Budokai is so high. And then three, we got the fucking dungeon. Let's see if anyone can actually clear it. Bitch, the meeting could have been done! You ever? Have you ever worked in a corporate setting where there's a fucking meeting and you're like, holy shit, this could have been solved by an email. Like, yeah, 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 come on, come on. And as soon as the meeting's about to be over, there's that one fucker, there's that one attention whore, just like, <laughs> actually, I think that way, shut the fuck up, bitch. You just ruined, like, you just extended this goddamn meeting for like another 30 minutes. Like 10 other people here are seething in their spots. Oh my god. What? Uh-oh. What the fuck? No, the Veldra magic kills all got absorbed by this tree? Interesting. What are we gonna do with the monsters now? Uh-oh. <laughs> Finally, he's back from Walpurgis. I was like, yo, we haven't seen that fox in a long, long time. I'm like, I thought we'd ever see it. It's a girl, right? She's coming back, right? Hello? That's convenient. Okay. Nine tails. QB. <laughs> it's gotta be the most generic fucking name for a nine-tailed fox, bro. Kumara, like, isn't that literally like Naruto's fucking fox name as well? Like, th that is like the name for nine-tailed foxes. Kurama. Kurama is the one. Ah, Kumara is a bit different. Ah, okay, Mara, Rama, uh, it, it's pretty much there. Oh, shit! We just got deflated. More tails. <gasps> More fluffy. Someone? What if Clayman was still alive? And we would like have him as his punishment, his eternal punishment is to serve as a dungeon boss. Like, what honestly would be a pretty good dungeon boss. I think I think it would be. Right? Personally, I think it would be good punishment. He's eternally supposed to be part of the dungeon and just like, you know, be a bust, but like, who's it gonna be? Alright, presentation's over. Oh, or time for reports time. Arrested? Oh. And we talked to one of those guys before, right? Yeah, there was the elf uh, slave trade that was being mentioned before, and I think that was kind of important to the plot somewhere. Okay. Or dead. I eliminated them. Did, did you? Did, so wait, did you take care of them? Oh, oh, wiped out by. Yeah. Where, where is he? Where is he, bro? And that's the thing. The thing is, he's like this meek child. But the opening shows a completely different man. They're both blonde. What's going on, bro? He looks like a pacifist. He's like a normal kid. One, he gets serious. 
Okay, he's not serious right now. Jiwoo the Elementalist. This is Masayuki's party. You got the fucking Mohawk man from Konosuba here. <laughs> Jinrai the Mad Wolf. Otherworlder! Otherworlder! Bernie the Wizard! Hold up! We got an Elementalist? We got a Mad Wolf? Otherworlder Isekai character! Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna figure out how he got isekai'd. Alright, is he also a- He's also a salary man! He's also a salary man that plays gacha games! That's pretty much basically... <laughs> all working just like white collar office workers in Japan, just all fucking gacha slaves. Blue hair? What? Summoned. Summoned. Blue hair girl. Primordial? I don't know. Interesting hair color. We already know Primordial blue and green though. They were the maids of Guy Crimson. This character looks important. As this character shows up and he looks at her. Boom. Not summoned. Transported. Summon is different, right? Summon is different. This is not summoning. He was just transported. Kind of like Hinata? Ki ki kind of like Hinata, right? Hinata was also just kind of just... Boom like that, right? I, I'm not sure. あの日、突然この世界に飛ばされてきた僕は、わけがわからない。もういもういチューニョン。これ終わった。勇気ある行動を確認しました。Chosen <laughs> one. Damn, I mean, if your unique skill is called fucking chosen one, it's gotta be next level, right? え?えっと、はい。<laughs> What does it do? What I tell you, what's my favorite kind of characters in anime? What I tell you. King from One Punch Man. Buggy the Clown or Usopp from One Piece. Right? These characters that seemingly are just so weak and fragile. But everyone has a misunderstanding and somehow the bullshit luck comes into reality. His chosen one, once activated, makes everyone think that he is like a fucking, just the strongest being ever, even though he's a meek and mild kid. I see. I see the potential with this character. Okay, okay. <laughs> Heroic presence. <laughs> see now, here's the important thing, lesser beings. Will this work on Gee Crimson? Like, will heroic presence, like, will this shit work on, like, the octogram, right? It'd be really funny if, like, higher beings that we know, like, even, like, Luminous looks like Masayuki can be like, Oh, it can't be! It's him, right? I, I don't know! <laughs> Paralyzed ball! <laughs> he got knocked out! <laughs> See this shit, bro? Didn't even use his fucking hand. Oh, also, Jinrai is the guy that's part of our crew right now. Yeah, Jinrai the Mad Wolf is the guy that's part of our OG crew. So that's pretty interesting that immediately one of the first guys we meet is part of Masayuki's party. Got it. Okay, was that luck? Was that luck or was that a skill? I can't tell. I, I genuinely... Maybe, maybe luck is a skill. Maybe he's super lucky. I don't know. Wow! The precision, bro! He's truly a martial artist. <laughs> the misunderstanding. This guy's next fucking level! You're with compensation. Due to very high luck, all normal attacks as well as attacks by companions, what? What do they do? Critical hits! Even companions hits? This is this is you hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on. That's crazy. His own hits being crits are insane, but the fact that his party, his companions also crit so you could just have like random ass dudes just join his party and they're gonna be on like demon lord status level of attack power because of the crit or some shit. That's crazy. Critical hit. Oh, 
like, what the fuck just happened, bro? I just got transported here. The fuck? A girl came running into me. Now you are alleging your alliance to me. <laughs> bro, Masayuki is probably like, shh, didn't do anything. I'm just existing and everything is just working in my favor. Why? Because he's the goddamn chosen one. Masayuki! Masayuki! Also, it's kind of funny how Kirito's voice actor is in a blonde boy character who reminds me of Yujiro right now. Alright, Megane. <laughs> this tone changed so fucking cool. But like, is this the first like Megana Ikemen? It's rare that we have an Ikemen that does the <laughs> you know look. That's also a Megane, bro. <laughs> what happened? Crits, crits, crits. I love this guy's unique skills. Dude, it's so busted. Everyone just sees your heroic feats and they just simp for you. Everyone gets like inspired, bro. Holy shit. Bernie! Bernie's in our team now. Oh, that didn't last too long. Everyone is just worshipping him now. Yeah. How the fuck? It's too easy. It's just too easy. He's too cool. He's too powerful. He's too charming. He's so handsome. God damn. What can't Masayuki do? Yeah, there's our party, man. Legendary party. Actual legend. Yeah. So like his sword swings like flashes of light. Now I don't really know anything about him in terms of his combat because it seems like he's just getting away with everything by sheer luck and obviously everything being crit hits, right? But like, is he actually competent? Right? Because right now it seems like the unique skill is just basically making everyone think that he's a god. But is he competent to the point where the flashes of light swings? Like, is he actually that good of a swordsman? Okay. 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 And this is the moment after Yuki was talking to who? I think Kazarim and the uh, uh, moderate Harley Quinn alliance that, oh, I think it's about time that I sent him on a mission. I think he's getting bored or something, right? Yeah, this is the reference. And then now Masayuki is going on behalf of Ingracia to join in on the festival. Never mind, Orthrus. Oh, this is how they get wiped out. Alright. よく奴らのスポーツ感だね。運よ、そこで調査員をバラキアに派遣することになったんだ。推定危険度は<笑> This is kind of an interesting line. I can't go against the will of our sponsors, the other people that's working on this mission together. Who exactly are the sponsors, though? They, they, he was kind of vaguely talking about the investigator. Eastern merchant people? I don't know, but there's another faction here behind the scenes. <laughs> Yeah, if it's just a war, just fucking win the war, bro. Just a small nation. Come on, man. You're a hero. Wow. Actually, an, the true protagonist in Isekai that's going on to abolish the slave system, bro. What the fuck is Rudy doing? Actively participating in it. What the fuck is Naofumi doing, shield hero? Actively participating in it. 
becoming the biggest, the slave trader's biggest fucking, you know, whale customer, bro. Let's go, Masayuki. This is my goat. It's just so weird seeing like a face that looks like Yu-Gi-Oh! But having Kirito's voice come out as we watch SAO Arisization right now. It's just so uncanny. <laughs> But everything he's doing right now is so that he could have favors owed to you, bro. It, 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 it's just, he's using you. He's at the end of the day, this, this sly motherfucker, dude. Yeah. He got lost? Did he accidentally get lost? But his chosen he one hero skill, whatever he does, you know, the luck kind of led them to like some kind of backdoor alley deal happening, and we're witnessing something illegal. Signing why? The slave contract? Why would you say that? Because they are just charmed by the hero. They're like, <laughs> I cannot believe it when you just found us signing this very illegal document right now. Oh no, don't let us do this, Hiro Masayuki. The chosen one, bro. He didn't do shit. We didn't do fucking anything. But the skills are just so lucky. Oh, you want to fight? Let's see it, like the. <laughs> What? <laughs> Plot twist! Huh? Huh? Wait, why did, why, why did he kill the count? <laughs> What's the logic? Oh. Okay, 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 I can understand that. Okay, okay. I thought for a second he was like, literally, the charisma was so strong he was betraying his friend or something, but it's just like, I mean, still, it's still minus one, but if you're gonna blame him now, let's see where this goes. <laughs> but if the people come in here, I wonder due to a sheer amount of Riz and Aura, the people coming in here would be like, oh, he's gone mad, not Masayuki, and they would side with Masayuki. <laughs> <laughs> Our team, let's go! Crit hits! What is it? 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 And now we can refute all of their baseless accusation and us being a fraud? She saved them! Dude, we don't need to do anything. Everything just works out. The, the king was just there, bro. Out, out of fucking nowhere. Oh, oh, no. Oh, the king is going to the wall. What the fuck? Well, nice timing. What a... Insane. Just, just crazy. It's just like straight up like One Punch Man King, right? Where everything just fucking works out. Some, and it, it, it just works out, bro. He doesn't do anything. He just exists and the entire world will suit around him to make him the fucking hero. His unique skills, insanity. So like, if Masayuki shows up to our festival, what will the chosen hero do? I guess the tournament will be a joke because a chosen hero should be able to win a Tenkaichi Budokai. So... The tournament is gonna be hilarious to see like how people will like fight Masayuki. Everyone will like somehow knock themselves out, stadium out. I don't know. It's gonna be the more I think about it, the more hilarious this is gonna be. We didn't have to do anything. It's so so easy. Thank you so much. Uh, Alright, sure. 
Bro's just trying to live in peace. Okay, the battle on Northrus. And the wipe time. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Let's fucking go mad wolf looking like a fucking hero rescuing all the slaves right now, dude. <laughs> Let's go, the roller wizard! What the fuck? Yo, so lucky. What? What? You're the one with all the elf slaves? Oh, come on! <laughs> lucky! I wonder how strong they are. Like, if we do power scaling, they're probably stronger than a single Clayman, right? I've noticed that Clayman has been reduced to a unit of measurement in power scaling. Are they strong as one Clayman? Are they strong as 10 Claymans? I, I think that they're definitely stronger than one Clayman in a 1v1 fight. So where does that leave us now? Are they stronger than, let's say, Mao Karyon? <sighs> I don't know. Mao Karyon versus Mad Wolf with the crit hit passives? I'm not sure, man. Are they stronger than Benny? I wouldn't want to think so. I genuinely don't know. That's a crazy design, bro. That's a fucking crazy design. What? This is so creepy looking, bro. What is this? It's time for you to have a harem of elves. It's time. Oh, I see. ジュラの大森林の支配領域になったからだよ。Crazy. It's just this fucking cult, bro. It's the cult of Masayuki. And now they're traveling over. Well, that's not the case. But during the tournament, I wonder if Rimuru will show up. It would be cool to see like a spar between Masayuki versus Rimuru. Did Hinata lose? Did Hinata lose? Let's think about what happened. Melt Slash was coming in. We then used Bill's Buff to sacrifice. And after that encounter was done, she got hit. The battle did not conclude. You cannot say that Hinata won or Rimuru won. It's not even a tie. Is it a tie? Like, a tie is when both sides are going all out and there's no external circumstances preventing. I feel like the battle was interrupted, right? Right? It, it just got interrupted. She got donutted when the fight was still going on. And it just... I don't even think that it was a tie. Because, like, it just didn't finish. But I guess, you know, conveniently, they can still... They, it, it's, it's a tie to them, to the public. Repeated lines from the intro. They will just always glaze. Whatever he says, they're like, Oh my god, you're right! I've seen the light of Masayuki! Let's go! Yeah! They're just ride or die. Just ride or die. Can Chosen One be stopped? Chosen One only works against lesser people, right? The whole, like, misunderstanding of his greatness, like, it said that, like, it, it only works on, like, lesser people. That's a... And what is defined as a lesser person? Is it individual competency or is it the way that people perceive other people? If it's the way that per people perceive other people, because of the reputation he has as being, like, the fucking greatest hero of all time right now, 
I don't think there's anyone lesser than him, right? At least on equal footing, because his reputation is insane. Senko no Yusha, Masayuki. Senko no Yusha. <laughs> so wait, I love you, but like, I don't think you could beat Masayuki, bro. I don't know if you could. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I don't think Diablo would lose, right? I don't think Diablo would lose. And speaking of power scaling, even between Shion and Soei, why did I instinctively think that Soei would lose, but that Shion might win? It's because their skills are fucking insane. It's reality bending. Soei so far is still just John Smith guy. Is it accurate to say Shion is stronger than Soe now? I'm not sure. I'm like really thinking about it and I'm like, huh. Huh, I think, I think Shion is stronger, right? <laughs> but like, it's hard to do that. It's hard to like prevent the conflict because Chosen One just like puts him in a situation where it makes him look like the hero. And if we're deemed the villain according to the scripts, I'm not sure. But also, it is a unique skill and we don't think that Masayuki has an ultimate skill. And in terms of that, you would think that someone with many ultimate skills could beat a unique skill user. But at the same time, because of how Chosen One works, I feel like ultimate skills could somehow just... Just not really work in the way that it's opposed to and let Masayuki get away with it. <laughs> I wonder if this is gonna matter as well, because remember, Rimuru gave all his magicules to name Kumara, and I'm not sure how long it'll take to recover those magicules, but it, like, perhaps Rimuru is now going into Masayuki in a nerf state, which acts as you know, more excuses as to why he could lose. And that's today's episode of Tensor, the last one until we have a delay next week to do some hiatus or some kind of recap episode due to the Olympics. But that's not funny. I mean, pretty much we are about to host our own Olympics, you know, in our... I know it's a festival, but it is what it is. Today's episode, definitely my favorite of part two of season three. Masayuki lore is so fucking good. And I was like wondering how, why is Masayuki so hyped why is he so OP right and if you just gave some generically strong person it just wouldn't be fun right but to have this character be someone that didn't even ask for it that's just existing and has all his problems solved and again I go always back to the example of King from One Punch Man or Buggy the Clown or Usopp from One Piece and characters like that and or even Kazuma from like Konosuba as the characters of Archetype and Family that I love and I love Masayuki. Everything about his unique skill, I wish that I had it. He just goes around and due to his skills, everyone gets a riz. The, the pure, this aura emanating around him just makes it so that he's in the perfect situation. And not only that, his party! His party mates also become cracked. He is an insane character. And as we head into the festival, a hero should be slaying the demon lord. And if that's the script, the narrative of the book, won't the chosen one simply abide by it? But then again, you know, maybe Raphael will figure a way to out to, you know, kind of flip the script so that Rimuru isn't some evil guy that a hero is supposed to display. I'm not really sure, but the festival is going to be fucking sick. And I will see y'all in two weeks. And that's it from me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care. <laughs>